Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I want to talk about why it is very important for you to love yourself first, ideally before you get into the relationship, but I am a realist. I understand that most people do not deal with themselves. They do not work on themselves. Do they... In, in a lot of cases, don't already love themselves before they get into the relationship. So I'm going to talk about that today. Stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the contents. Thank you so much for coming back, family. So I have eight reasons why I want you to really concentrate on loving yourself ideally before you get into the relationship. So the very first one is that you actually attract who you already are and who you believe uh, that you deserve. So if you are a person who is, um, let's see, damage is the word that I'm going to insert here and you have not dealt with your baggage, you know I've been talking about that a lot lately, then you are going to attract somebody who is going to abuse you in that sense. Not necessarily physically, but it could be physically. It definitely could be emotionally because you have not dealt with your issues on the inside. You are attracting somebody who is basically going to be using you and taking away from you. They're going to be draining you in that sense. So that is the very first reason why, because you're going to attract who you are in the moment and what you deserve and who you deserve, you believe that you deserve, I should say. The second reason that I found to understand is that love only starts to develop after you start to love yourself and make yourself a priority. So if you are constantly trying to make your mate a priority, um, and, and you should, but you really should put yourself above because you have to have that self-love, that self-growth, that internalness going on before you can outwardly really show somebody real, true, mature adult love. And it only starts to develop when you concentrate on yourself first, when you are working on yourself, when you are loving yourself first. Because you're really understanding who you are, what you need, what you want, what you desire. Not even talking about the relationship. You as a person, you as a human being, how you actually want to be treated. You, you know how you deserve to be treated. You are not just taking any old thing. So you have to love yourself in order to know all of this stuff. The third thing that I found is that you are healthier happier and more secure when you are more self-aware and you are going through the self-growth process or you have already done some self-growth. You're happier, you understand a little bit more, which actually brings me to point number four, which is you do not imagine that the relationship is actually worse than it really is. So you accept the relationship for where it's at and what it is and what you need to work on. So you are definitely have taken off the rose colored glasses. You guys have gotten to a comfortable position by this point and you can recognize, you know what? We're just going through a valley right now, um, but everybody has highs and lows. We all have our mountains and valleys that we go through. Every relationship goes through them. Um, you might not go through them as much or you might be going through them more. It depends on where you're at, your understanding, your growth process and everything that I'm already covered. So, you know, you, you're more willing, you're more accepting, you're more understanding of, you know what, the, this is where we're at right now. And it's OK. We'll move past this. The fifth reason why you should absolutely love yourself prior to going into the relationship because you are not willing to accept poor behavior once you start to love on yourself first because you know exactly what you deserve. You know your worth. So any poor treatment from your potential spouse or your potential lover, your potential boyfriend, your potential girlfriend, you ain't going for none of that. And so it's easier for you to recognize this red flag and to walk away versus you know what, I, oh, this is the best I can do. You know, there's nobody else. I don't want to start all over. Like all of those excuses go out the window and you like, uh, no, this is unacceptable. Number one, you address it and you actually give them, give your partner a chance to correct, self-correct their behavior. And after a period of time, after you've gotten fed up, they're not trying to work on it. They're not even apologizing, et cetera, et cetera. It's just like, you know what? I'm worth more. I deserve more. This poor treatment is not for me. This is for somebody else. And you walk away. 
without feeling bad, without feeling guilty, you could, because you know what you have to offer, you know what you have been giving, and you know the respect that you deserve. Support treatment, nowhere in your vocabulary, nowhere in your acceptance speech, okay? <laughs> number six actually kind of correlates with number five, which is when you do not love yourself before you enter a relationship, you actually will settle for less. Settle for less than what you deserve. Settle for less than what you're worth. You won't think um, that anything's wrong with the actual treatment. You'll actually think that this is the way that people, you know, are in relationships. And especially when it's unhealthy, when it's toxic, you're like, well, my mom went through it and my dad went through it. You know, this is how I grew up. This is this is OK. You know, this, this is what I'm used to. So the you'll start to settle for that poor treatment. You'll start to settle for the uh, being disrespectful. You'll start to settle for even cheating. Like I've heard um, plenty of people, but specifically women, but plenty of people say, you know, um, as long as I don't know about it. That's not the way it should be. Like, I mean, you know, if she go out there and do it, she can't come home and tell me that she's doing it. Uh, no. <laughs> or as long as he, you know, if, even if he is sleeping around out there, as long as he take care of the house. Uh, no. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Let me know down below. Is that just me or is that you too? And the eighth reason, I actually think that I said the last reason was the sixth reason, but it was actually number seven. In any event, this reason is reason number eight on why you should actually love yourself ideally before you get into the relationship. And it is because your bond with your mate will remain superficial. It will not become deep because you don't really know how to be create and connect with somebody on a deeper level. As much as you try, everything about the relationship is superficial. All right, fam, let me know what you think about this video and the topic idea. If you want to see more videos like this, of course, let me know down in the comment section below. Absolutely give me thumbs up. Did any of this information shock you? Are you aware of this? Have you even thought about this topic? And, you know, especially if you are a person who is currently working on yourself, do you kind of recognize what I'm saying in yourself currently. You know I love to continue the conversation down in the comment section below. So just let your sister know, okay? I will see you guys again in a future video. Two-finger salute.